Hey folks, Larry Wingett here. I want to talk for a few minutes about something that just keeps popping up everywhere. Uh, as I watch speakers, listen to speakers, talk about all the things they help other people do, and they're all talking about, I help people find their purpose. Oh my goodness. First of all, I need some definition around what that really means. What does it mean to find your purpose? You know, I've been doing this professional speaking, writing books, uh, um, in the self-help industry for 30 years. This is the 30th year I've been doing this. I'm not sure it's my purpose. So all those people want to help folks find their purpose. Why don't you help me find my purpose? I just think it's all kind of motivational BS. I think it's uh, playing loose with language. I think it's playing loose with the whole idea of self-help, which by the way, the root word of self-help is self. Um, and that kind of means you got to do it on your own. So we think that we can do so much for other people. I'm not sure I buy that. I think people have to do it on their own or it doesn't mean much. And I have a real issue with the whole idea of, of thinking another human being can come in and talk to you and coach you and consult with you and give a damn speech to you and suddenly you're going to find your purpose in life. I don't believe it. I think you can learn to do things on purpose, but I'm not sure you ever find your purpose, mainly because purpose is a moving target. When I was 20, my purpose in life was to make, it, make enough money, buy a house, uh, pay, make my car payment, uh, pay my bills, buy some stuff I didn't have, didn't grow up with. That was my purpose in life. It didn't matter the details or the job, really. None of that stuff really mattered. My purpose was to make some money. Then, as I became older and then I had kids, well, my purpose was, again, to provide for them. And then you get in your 40s or so, and, and your purpose changes. And then in your 50s, your purpose changes. And uh, certainly in your 60s, your purpose changes. And my purpose is much different today than it was just a few years ago. I bet you're a lot like I am. Your purpose has changed over the years because things around us changes. Our age, our maturity level changes. So I don't think another human being can step in and help another human being find their purpose because I don't think we have just one purpose. I think we instead need to learn to do things on purpose. We need a plan. We need to think about things. We need some logic and research and, and some common sense. And, and, and we need to kind of be on purpose in, in how we go about living our lives and running our businesses and raising our kids and handling our finances. That's what we need to do on purpose. Way too many are just living haphazardly and doing things that they end up kind of living on the leftovers by accident. Uh, and, and I don't think that's the way it should be done. I think we need intention. I think we need to be on purpose. But I think it's ridiculous to believe that we ever really find our purpose. Listen, if I died today, I do not want somebody to say, Larry Wingate at least lived his purpose. I'm not sure I have. I do this because I'm good at it. I'm doing it right now because uh, it's something I have a talent for. I've done the research around. I spend a lot of time, a lot of intentional, on-purpose time uh, thinking about this sort of stuff and shooting videos and writing books and doing all that stuff. But is this my overall life purpose? No, nah, I'm not so sure. Here's what I kind of believe my overall life purpose is, and I wish more people had this purpose. Be be a good person. Be a person that has the values of honesty and integrity and, and being kind and appreciative and, and thankful and, and generous and charitable and known for keeping your word and, and 
doing more than was expected and a hard worker and a, a good citizen and all of those things. That is our purpose as human beings. That, that's what we need to think more about. But this ridiculous idea that every single person has this one glorious purpose, nah, not buying it. So if you're a person who says, I help people find their purpose, I wish you'd rethink that. If you're a person who, who kind of like me, wakes up every day and just tries to be a good person on purpose, thinks about what they do and the purpose of being on purpose, <laughs> that makes a whole lot more sense to me. And that's what I wish people would do. Learn to be more intentional. Learn to be more on purpose and understand um, that folks who play loose with the language of finding your purpose, I, I think they live in this ethereal world that uh, uh, lacks some basis in reality. Uh, and I think they overstep their ability um, and, and it's almost arrogant uh, to think that they can step in with a speech, with coaching, with a program, with whatever, a book, uh, a t television show, with music, and with all the crap I see, helping others find their purpose. Instead, go out and live your life on purpose because I bet your purpose has changed over the years just like my, mine has, and I hope mine continues to change. That's what I hope. I hope that I'm so in tune with who I am and so open and willing to kind of go with things some, sometimes that, that my maturity level, my circumstances will determine what my purpose is that day, in that moment, but it's all going to be based on being a good human being. That's our purpose.